Hi everyone. I wanted to share something with you that really helped me in my life. And when I walk through extreme challenges and difficulties, I learned this when I lived a long time ago in the Himalayas with the Tibetan Lamas. And I also learned it with the shamans in the Amazon, as well as with ste steeping into that even more in my daily practice since 40 years. And it was truly befriending death was truly my lifesaver. So I had to. St I started early when I was a teenager, already on the path, and because my life was fraught with tremendous suffering, and it was only the choice of me, at least, it was the choice whether I kill myself or whether I wake up. And I chose the latter one. That's why I'm here, and now I get to help since. 30 years now, thousands of people across the world and I'm committed until my last breath. And one, this practice, or it, it's more of a, an attitude in life to say, to befriend death, to die before death takes you. And what do I mean by that? It doesn't, it's to hold a simple approach that usually we veer away from facing death and therefore we carry tremendous fear in our bellies and our bodies and our psyche but the truth is we know we will at some point leave this body and you probably know you have done it many times so but how can this help us right now to, to walk with death as a friend? It may sound morbid, <laughs> but when you look at Mary Magdalena or many other great beings like Tara or Kali, they they have meditated on a skull or they carry skull necklaces around and on their bodies. And why is that? It's because they too found liberation through dying before death took them. And death can be a friend as you consider this every day if you want to do that how would I live today if death takes me tomorrow how would I speak today act today if death takes me in an hour because the truth is we're going to go from this body at some point or another. And if we stay stuck in the fear of that, we may miss out on living fully present here, right now, living your deepest nature and being we may, we may stay stuck on forgetting what truly matters. So as you walk with death, let death be a companion. Meditate on it. I know it sounds so counterintuitive, but what it brought me when I was 18 was a sense of t liberation and there is no more fear. It fell away and to this day, 
the fear isn't there of death. There might be other things, of course. But there's a liberation that comes from knowing that this life, this moment, is truly what matters. And the love you have lived, the love that you breathe, is what matters in this moment, in this in this challenging time, it will give you strength. So this practice of dying before death takes you is very deep. You can go layers upon layers of laying onto the altar all that you believe yourself to be, whether it's beautiful or ugly. You can lay upon the altar all your achievements and failures. You can give over all your roles that you hold in life and you have identified with. And really, truly, in that, in that way is most important that it's not just a mental exercise, but rather notice what you feel throughout this. You may lay onto the altar the harm you have caused or the harm that others have caused. And let forgiveness envelop you. And as you go deeper and deeper into this surrendered, being stripped, bare, naked, you will come across your deepest terrors. And this too, lay it down. It's not getting rid of, it's in giving over into life, a giving over into death. It's surrendering your whole being. And as you consider this question without trying to answer it with your mind, what is left when all else is gone? You may taste an immense freedom you may taste and drop even more deeper into this luminous being that you are. And you will have the courage to fully love and show up in this world. We definitely need you now. <laughs>